What is up guys, it's Tom from Tech Time and I'm back with a quick video for you guys. This is a feature on the OnePlus 7 Pro that I wanted to mention. It was on the other OnePlus 6T that I had last year and on that it was a little bit different and that is Google Lens. Google Lens was incorporated right into the camera app on the OnePlus 6T. There was a little button down here in the corner that you could press if you wanted to activate it, but it is not on there. And I was looking for it the other day because at work I like to activate it. Sometimes I look at, you know, different types of flowers or plants. If a customer is asking me, I work in, you know, landscape, building and design and things like that. And sometimes, you know, customers will say something about a plant. My plant knowledge is not the best. So using Google Lens actually has helped that a lot because it is super, super accurate on picking up what type of plant it is. And if it's, you know, doesn't nail it completely on the head, it will definitely get it in the same family of the plant. But at nine out of 10 times, man, it, it, it works pretty good. You can also use it on animals. You can use it to quote texts and QR codes. And you know, the list goes on and on and on. Pull up similar items, things for shopping, stuff like that. But on the OnePlus 60, like I said, it was down here in the bottom corner. So I thought maybe it wasn't incorporated into the camera app on the, OnePlus 7 Pro, but it is. It's as simple as a hold and press on the screen and it brings up Google Lens and it tells you, you know, you can tap and pick which part of the lens you wanna, you know, shoot it on. So like, we'll take a picture of this. This is a fake plant, so it's not gonna, you know, do much, but we'll see what it says. So it brings up pretty much fake plants. So you get an idea, you know, you can pick on a different part of it, fake plant, fake plant. So we'll take a, Shot of the salt lamp, brings up different images of salt lamps. You can bring up, you know, text on a box like this. Brings up screen protectors, and then you can click 3D screen protector and look up, you know, other types of screen protectors. You can do that. You can translate text from different languages if you're interested in, in things like that. So I think it's a great option. Google Lens is really good and it's only getting better. Google really, you know, kicks ass when it comes to, you know, implementing features like that. They have such a backlog of data and information that these types of features work well for Google. And I just thought I'd show you guys where it is on the OnePlus 7 Pro. You just press and hold on the screen, like you tap into focus, but completely hold it and it brings up you know, different things. Now, if you have a different type of phone, if you wanna use it on older photos, you can actually go into your Google Photos, pull up an image like this one right here I have, and then there's a little Google Lens right there. You just click that, and then you tap on like where you want it to go, right there, the Eastern Garter Snake, and that's exactly what it is. You can use it with different images, you know, like flowers. Oh, sorry, press the button, tap on it, and it brings up the type of fallow, flower that it is, that's an allium, and that's exactly what it is. So like I said, it's pretty accurate. Sometimes if the image isn't the best, then it will have issues, but most of the time, lamb's air, boom, again, it's on point. So like flowers and things like that, there's so many different options. You can really get creative with it, but Google Lens is great. I just wanted to show you guys, it's in the photo app of the OnePlus 7 Pro, the camera app, and you can also get it in Google Photos. So just a little quick tip for you guys, if you are looking for it, or if you have never used it before, maybe you want to use it. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and you do have a OnePlus 7 Pro or any of the, you know, most of the flagships that come out, I do produce content on all sorts of smartphones and tech products. So, you know, give that subscribe button a press if you're interested and also like this video. Until the next time, guys, I'll catch you later.